Hello again, and welcome back to Otherworldly Encounters. Today we have the near-death experience of a man, who shares his encounter with a being of light. My name is Sam, and at the time of my near-death experience, I was 35 years old and living in Houston, Texas. This was back in the year 2010. From a young age, I had always been fascinated by the ocean and its vastness. As I grew older, I realized that I wanted to explore its depths and discover its secrets. That's when I decided to pursue a career in underwater construction and maintenance. There was something about working in the underwater world that called out to me. It was a challenging and exciting field, and I knew that it would provide me with the adventure I craved. Plus, being able to work in such a unique environment, surrounded by marine life and the mysteries of the deep sea, was an opportunity I couldn't resist. So, I put in the work, and finally landed my dream job as an underwater maintenance and construction engineer. I worked on a variety of projects, such as oil and gas pipelines, offshore platforms, and underwater communication cables. I was skilled in a number of specialized techniques and tools needed for my job, such as welding, cutting, drilling, and blasting. I would often have to work in harsh conditions, dealing with strong currents, low visibility, and extreme pressure. But despite the challenges, I loved my work. One bright and sunny day, I was working on a project to repair an underwater pipeline, when there was a malfunction in the equipment, resulting in an explosion that caused serious shrapnel injuries. I knew I needed to act fast if I was going to survive. I used my training and experience to stay calm. I eventually made it to the surface where my fellow divers immediately sprang into action. I was bleeding profusely, and after some time, the team noticed that I didn't have a pulse, and immediately administered CPR, and the use of a defibrillator to help revive me. I was then transported to a medical facility for further treatment. During this time, I drifted away from my body, I felt a strange sensation of peace and tranquility that I had never experienced before. I found myself in a beautiful, peaceful place and I was filled with a sense of awe and wonder. There, I saw a being of light approach me. It was glowing with a brilliant radiance, and I could feel its love and kindness. It emanated a warm and welcoming presence, and I felt a sense of peace and comfort wash over me. The being told me that I was in a place of love and light, and that there was nothing to fear. It explained that I was in a space beyond the physical realm. He went on to say that I had a purpose to fulfill on earth. I asked the being what that purpose was, and it said, it is not my place to dictate what that is, but I can tell you that your journey is not over yet, and your purpose is unique to you. He assured me that I would be okay, and that I would return to my body soon. He also said I had a lot of living left to do, and much to accomplish in my life, and my knowledge would be used to save many lives. After being called back to my body, I eventually made a full physical recovery, however, the accident had a lasting impact on me both mentally and emotionally. As a result, I decided to focus my efforts on workplace safety and preventing accidents like the one I had experienced. Over time, I became an underwater safety consultant. I find it difficult to articulate all the intricate details of my experience in the non-physical realm, but I can confidently say that it was the most breathtaking and transformative moment of my life. What are your thoughts on Sam's story? Share in the comments section below, and show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. If you have a story to share, send a written account to the email address provided. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.